Recently, Blink-182 fans were devastated upon receiving the news that drummer Travis Barker had been hospitalized. The drummer, whose wife is Kourtney Kardashian, had apparently begun experiencing stomach pain so bad that he couldn't walk. Prior to his hospitalization, he tweeted the cryptic phrase, God save me. Some fans may not realize that this new incident is only the most recent in a long line of health concerns that have plagued the 46-year-old drummer over the course of his career. Join Trender as we explore how Travis Barker's serious hospitalization isn't even the worst of things. Travis Barker was just hospitalized. On Tuesday, June 28, 2022, Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker was spotted being rushed to the hospital via ambulance. Shortly before the sighting, the rock musician had tweeted a fairly cryptic statement on his social media. That statement simply read, God save me. According to wife Kourtney Kardashian, Travis had begun feeling severely ill the previous day. The musician began experiencing some serious stomach cramps, and it ended up getting to the point where the drummer could no longer walk. Realizing that things were serious, Travis finally relented to be rushed to the hospital. Wife Courtney stayed by his side the entire time, and his daughter pleaded via her own social media for her father's fans to send their prayers. Travis was brought to Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, California. There, it was determined that what the drummer was suffering from was pancreatitis. Thankfully, pancreatitis isn't typically that deadly of an affliction. In most cases, those afflicted with pancreatitis will recover relatively quickly upon receiving treatment. However, Travis Barker is a special case as he has had numerous health concerns before. Avid Blink-182 fans should be well aware of the drummer's long-time history of accidentally flirting with death. And in the right light, that history makes this recent hospitalization all the more frightening. Kourtney Kardashian is Travis Barker's third wife, and they just tied the knot in 2022. Previously, Travis had been married to a woman by the name of Melissa Kennedy from 2001 to 2002, and a model by the name of Shauna Mochler from 2004 to 2008. Travis and Shanna had two children, and those are Travis's only two kids. Those kids are 18-year-old son Landon Asher Barker and 16-year-old Alabama Luella Barker. Alabama was the first of the two to take to social media after her father's recent hospitalization. Landon Asher Barker was busy preparing to perform on stage alongside Machine Gun Kelly all the way across the country in New York City. Landon performed alongside Machine Gun Kelly mere hours after his father's hospitalization, and the song that he performed together was coincidentally called Die in California. Travis Barker has a history of health scares. While the fact that Travis Barker has had multiple health concerns in the past may make his recent pancreatitis hospitalization more terrifying for fans than it would be otherwise, they may find some hope in the fact that Travis has always recovered from his various afflictions. As a matter of fact, 46-year-old Travis Barker considered himself to be in better shape than ever before prior to his recent hospitalization. Previous health concerns, such as a plane crash and an incident involving a plethora of blood clots, had inspired the once drug-addicted rock and roll star to turn his life around. In 2009, Travis Barker became a vegan, and he apparently runs several miles a day. Of course, there's also the fact of the matter that Travis drums every day, which provides an unmatched full-body workout. Following the aforementioned plane crash, the doctors told Travis Barker that he might never be able to drum again as a result of the numerous skin grafts that the incident necessitated. Thankfully, Travis ended up proving them wrong. The plane crash that nearly killed Travis Barker occurred all the way back in September of 2008. The crash killed every occupant besides Travis and one other person. That other person was Travis's good friend, Adam Goldstein. Adam was a music producer that was better known by his stage name, DJ AM. Although Adam survived the crash, he ended up dying around a year afterwards as a result of a drug overdose. Travis vowed never to fly again. Though Travis Barker survived the plane crash that nearly killed him in September of 2008, he didn't survive it unscathed. He wound up covered in third-degree burns on two-thirds of his body and didn't regain the courage to fly again for over a decade. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to hit the like button and show your support. Also, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to be among the first to know when more awesome Trender videos are on their way. Travis has always been a survivor. After surviving the plane crash that nearly killed him and his friend, two-thirds of Travis Barker's body was covered in third-degree burns. The drummer's extreme injuries necessitated nearly 30 surgeries and required him to stay at the hospital for a period of three months. 
After those three months were over, the rock and roll musician then had to start an intensive regimen of physical therapy in an effort to relearn how to walk. Initially, the doctors told Travis Barker that there was a good chance that he was never again going to be able to do things such as drumming and running. The burns had required skin grafts on the musician's hands and feet. Despite the warnings from doctors, Travis Barker persevered and tried his absolute best to reteach his body how to do things it loved doing. According to Travis, it didn't take him long after initially getting his hands to move that he was able to pick up his drumsticks and get back to drumming. Similarly, he claims that he was able to start running again soon after relearning how to walk. It seems that the musician has a good deal of resilience. While Travis Barker was able to get over his physical trauma within around a year, it took him much longer to get over the mental and emotional trauma of surviving the plane crash. Travis Barker has shared how he and his aforementioned friend, DJ AM, searched in vain in an effort to find support groups for people that have survived plane crashes. According to Travis, the two of them were only able to find support groups for people who had lost loved ones in plane crashes. Still, the two of them had each other, that is, until DJ AM passed away from an accidental drug overdose at the age of 36. Following this tragic death only a year after the plane crash, Travis Barker was left completely alone with his trauma. It wouldn't be until recently, upon meeting Kourtney Kardashian, that he was finally able to overcome it. Travis was hospitalized in 2018. As we've already established, the 2008 plane crash caused Travis Barker to turn his life around and start becoming an all-around healthier person. He went vegan the next year and began exercising more, but this wasn't enough to prevent the drummer from having another health scare around a decade later. In 2018, while in the midst of a Las Vegas residency, with Blink-182, Travis had a health scare involving a massive plethora of blood clots that forced the tour to end early. Upon being hospitalized, it was found that Travis had around 30 blood clots in his right arm and around 10 in his left. He also apparently had a couple of related infections that he needed to recover from. The plethora of blood clots made Travis Barker have to give up performing for the time being, though the musician was optimistic that he would get back up and running sooner rather than later. Sadly, in contrast to how quickly Travis recovered from the 2008 plane crash, it took him a little longer to recover from these blood clots than was anticipated. Because of this, Blink-182 ended up having to put off more shows than was initially planned. Not only did the band have to end its Las Vegas residency early, but it also had to cancel a tour that was planned afterwards. To make matters even worse, Travis's car was totaled by a school bus around a month after his 2018 hospitalization. According to Travis, the bus driver had run a red light. Thankfully, there were no kids in the bus, and Travis managed to escape further injuries. Courtney helped Travis overcome his trauma. Though it took a bit longer for Travis Barker to recover from his 2018 blood clots than it did for him to recover from his 2008 plane crash, he still ended up recovering. To fans, it seemed like Travis Barker was all the way back up on the top of the world by the summer of 2022. Travis and Kourtney Kardashian began dating in the early months of 2021. Soon after they started dating, Kourtney was able to convince Travis to start flying again. According to Travis, being with Kourtney Kardashian makes him feel invincible. He ended up agreeing to travel the world on her private jet without making much of a fuss, which he claims is something that he never would have dreamed of doing mere months before. Following their meeting in the early months of 2021, Travis and Courtney went on to tie the knot in May of 2022. This recent hospitalization comes only a little over a month after their intimate wedding ceremony. Hopefully, Travis's pancreatitis doesn't end up having any long-term consequences, and fans will be able to see the musician performing again sometime soon. Even if things end up going wrong, Travis has always expressed that he isn't afraid to die. Depending on how you look at it, Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker's history of health concerns may make his recent hospitalization in June of 2022 more or less scary. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Travis Barker was once told after a plane crash that he might never be able to drum again and that new wife Kourtney Kardashian helped him overcome his fear of flying? As always, like this video to show your support. And subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be among the first to know when more awesome Trender videos are on their way.